Hello there, welcome to my views and news, continuing our coverage of the ongoing tensions between Ethiopia and Eritrea. We have several important updates for you on the perspective of Tigray. What is Tigray doing? Some decisions have been made in Tigray. Tigray fighters are on the move, it seems. Where are they? Are new recruitments going to start or already underway? Which fronts are being seen with mobilization of TDF maps? Firstly, viewers, uh, whether Tigray wants to be part of a new escalation between PMRB and Isas Afwerki or not, Tigray cannot stay aloof. Tigray shares border, long border with Eritrea. So it won't be possible for Tigray to detach itself or to remain detached from a conflict. If, if, if armed conflict erupted between Ethiopian National Defense Force and Eritrean military. So Tigray will be drawn into this conflict. That is why I think Tigray will have to take a position. And so far, Tigray is not taking any position. I have not seen a single statement from TPLF, from Tigray interim government, from opposition parties, from Tigray journals, from Tigray media. Not a single statement about uh, the issue of Red Sea, about Ethiopian position regarding actually the Red Sea. It was Melis Zinavi of TPLF who is accused that he uh, abandoned uh, uh, the use of uh, Eritrean ports and that was a strategically bad decision. Melis Zinavi of TPLF. So maybe and Amhara, uh, they have been accusing TPLF of uh, uh, giving away uh, Asab to Eritrea. Now, the same uh, Amhara people, I, I wouldn't say all of them, but now they are opposing war on Eritrea. We are seeing statements from uh, Amhara diaspora community opposing any war on Eritrea. They are showing solidarity with Eritrea. They say no war over us with Eritrea. Why? Because they are the target of a military operation. Fano fighters are fighting day and night to protect themselves, to defend Amhara region, they, they want to reach Addis Ababa. So now Amharas don't want to team up with uh, the federal government to take on Eritrea. Tigray, again I'm saying, will have to take a position. Uh, we could see some contacts between Eritreans and Tigray elite. I'll speak on that tomorrow. So far, Tigray has realized the gravity of the situation. Why? Because I reported about mobilization of EDF uh, on two fronts yesterday. I said that uh, Eritrean Defense Force was beefing up its presence on Bore front and on Adhikrat front. Then a few hours ago I reported about uh, new deployment of Eritrean military on another front, uh, high places to the north of Bore. There was no mobilization of TDF members on Adirat front, but EDF sent more troops to Adirat front. And Tigray, the direct effective uh, of uh, deployment of EDF on Adirat front, perhaps the shortest and quickest route to reach Makale is uh, through Adirat. Uh, it won't be possible, maybe, for Eritrean military now to enter. Tigray from Shiraro in case of a conflict, then move all the way along the road, uh, Shire, Aksom to Makale. Now, uh, perhaps the shortest uh, route for them would be uh, through Zilambasa, through Adirat. That is why new uh, reinforcements, EDF reinforcements were sent to Adirat. Tegarai is responding now. Three reports we received today. Two we have been able to confirm. Third is uh, under process. 
Firstly, we received report about uh, movement of TDF members uh, on Zilambasa front towards Zilambasa in Adagrat. Reportedly, new convoys of TDF members have arrived in Adagrat. They are going to be deployed to the Lambasa front, it seems. The Lambasa under Eretia control, Eretian uh, military there. So, we could say deployment of EDF members towards the Lambasa, not in the Lambasa. EDF is in the Lambasa. Just like EDF is beefing up its military presence on the Lambasa front, TDF is doing the same. ENDF this time is going to be on TDF side. ENDF has been on EDF side since November 2020. Things changing now. Ethiopian National Defense Force is going to deploy itself in support of TDF on different fronts along Tegarai border. So first report we have been able to confirm is arrival of TDF members in Adagrat for likely deployment towards the Lambasa. Secondly, Tigray had a standing army of more than 100,000, more than 150,000 TDF members. I think 50,000 were demobilized, who started protests, who said that they were not given anything, just a discharge certificate, uh, a small amount of money. Uh, so they protested. We saw several protests in Makale. The demobilized TDF members, some of them were injured, some were uh, uh, disabled, uh, some managed to get out because of having connections. They did not want to be, they did not want to remain part of TDF. Now, Demobilized TDF members are being recalled, confirmed. Some fighters have received messages from their uh, respective, we can call them reservists now, because they worked, uh, they operated in Tigray Defense Force. Now they are reservists. The reservists are being called to Makale and to other areas. What will happen next? Will they be deployed to fronts? Will they be sent to camps? It's not clear. But a recalling of reservists has been confirmed. Thirdly, third report, these two reports we have been able to confirm, largely confirmed, I would say. Thirdly, training, we heard that uh, Tegra interim government passed orders to all the Waredas uh, city administrations to start training and recruitment. We have no confirmation. Uh, I don't think TDF needs new recruits now because if reservists are being recalled and Tegra already has around 1,000 standing army deployed along Takaze, along Eritrean border, uh, 50,000 demobilized can join as well. So, I don't think TDF is in need of new recruitment now. Uh, it would be difficult for TDF to find new recruits, by the way. Uh, keeping in view the situation, humanitarian situation in Tegarai. I have not been able to confirm new recruitment, new trainings. Now, these developments indicate that uh, Tegarai has not taken a position officially so far. But uh, Tegarai will have to take a position. In response, if Eretia is deploying its troops to a bigger front, Tegarai cannot stay silent. It will have to defend its territory. If Eretia decides to make a move on Shiraro front, what will Tegarai do? What will ENDF do? ENDF will ask Tigray fighters to join them. So Tigray will be drawn into this war. Tigray will have to work proactively. If Tigray wants to avert this conflict, it should play a more active role. 
if it wants to take sides then uh, again it will have to work proactively tigray war ravished destroyed this reconstruction just started cannot afford a new war by the way ethiopian military i've been saying cannot afford a new war keeping in view internal regional international uh, dimensions but we are seeing tensions on ethiopia eritrea border and tigray eritrea border to some extent that is what we have been able to confirm i would say that uh, this is the time for de escalation emotions running high on both sides all day eritrean activists criticize ethiopian government they want to just remove pm abi on the other hand uh, ethiopian activists announcing to die for us support this is the time to de escalate uh, people should tell their leaders to de escalate people should not back this war uh, narrative rhetoric for new war in the horn of africa between ethiopia and eritrea but uh, people blindly start supporting their sides uh, they unknowingly aggravate the conflict and then when the conflict comes and they feel the heat of the conflict they call for peace and dialogue this is the time to call for peace and dialogue reconciliation talks between ethiopia eritrea and tigray to i've been saying for since november i've been saying that pretoria deal has been signed but next step should be engagement between tigray and eritrea and ethiopia too now there is more need for engagement between tigray eritrea and ethiopia otherwise sooner or later we'll see uh, acceleration in the tensions between the two sides thank you for watching